Today I just wanted to give you some easy flower photography tips and all you need today is your EM10 Mark II with the kit lens, a 10 millimeter macro extension tube, and a camping flashlight. So I got these extension tubes last year. It comes in a kit of two for like $25 and it has the electrical contacts so it'll still autofocus. And it comes with a 10 millimeter and a 16 millimeter extension tube. And today I'll just be using the 10 millimeter extension tube as I have it attached here already. It just mounts onto the camera just like a lens. And then you put your lens on top. So let's go out into the yard here and just see what we can get uh, just using these two simple things. All right, so let's just start right here. There's some flowers here growing around the tree. And all I need to do really is, and I've done a full factory reset on the camera. So we're basically in full auto aperture priority. And I have my kit lens extended out to the 42 millimeter mark. All right, move over. Ellie, go over there. So when you have a macro extension tube on, it really limits your range of focus. So what I like to do is just uh, first move the camera back and forth until the flowers are almost in focus anyway. And then I'll just tap the shutter button to see if it'll uh, acquire autofocus at this point. All right, so let's just take a picture here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose the focus point like so. Yeah, that's a nice picture, but you can see already that just by adding this macro extension tube, we've really blurred out the background and isolated the flowers, our subject. So let's start messing with some of the creative settings in the camera. So we'll just go into the menu. We'll go into picture mode. And right now we're in natural color profile. So let's select that. We'll select that. Uh, and then you'll see here we have contrast. So let's, let's uh, crank that up. So we'll click the right arrow. We'll go into sharpness. And I've, I, I've done this in my last couple videos. So I'll kind of rush through it here. And we'll pick low key to kind of, again, crush the uh, shadows a little bit more, giving us more separation. And that's it. So let's take a look at that and take a picture. And let me change this so I can choose a focus point, like so. All right, that's not bad. That looks pretty good. Now let's, uh, let me check the exposure. So we're at uh, ISO 200. 1 200th of a second shutter speed and f5.6 and i always like the shutter speed when i'm particularly when i'm doing macro and tiny flowers like this to be at least 1 200th of a second or faster maybe 1 400th is better but i can work with 1 200th so i can keep the iso down low so from here oops all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this to just be large fine plus raw sometimes i like to post process these but we can get a pretty good image straight out of camera i think and one other thing we can do is we can we can hit the function 2 button and that'll bring up our highlight shadow menu by default let's rotate the rear dial and crush the shadows and then let's just add one notch of highlight and you can adjust these to taste but that's like where i like to start what I'm trying to do is get this leaf in here because uh, I kind of like that. Let's take a picture here with all these settings. And that's already looking 100% better, I think. Now let's add our camping flashlight. And I can move this light around until I get the lighting that I want. The problem I'm having, okay, I missed focus a tiny bit. But the problem I'm having here is the petals on the flower are blown out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dial in some exposure compensation. Let's go down about two thirds of a stop to start. And the other thing I noticed was the depth of field is so shallow that I'm not getting enough of the flowers in focus that I want. So I'm going to increase my aperture also. And when you're dealing with macro, you have to go pretty high. So let's go to F16 and then check our shutter speed here. 
with the light. Alright, we're only at 1 one hundredth of a second at ISO 250. So let's manually adjust the ISO. Let's try ISO 800 and see what we get. Oh, that's too much. Try ISO 400. All right. Yeah, that's good. Now we're back up over 200th of a second. I like that. I think that looks pretty good. All right, there's a tiny little flower here. So let's check our exposure again. And we probably can take the uh, exposure comp back to zero. Let's check our shutter speed. Wow, we're really low on shutter though. Let's put our light on. We're going to have to up our ISO a little bit because these are pretty dark flowers. Let's try ISO 1000. Still not quite there. And since this flower is a little bit shallower, I think in this case I will just reduce my aperture down to f8. Okay, let me move my focus point. Bring in some lighting. Oh, I can lower my ISO back down because my shutter speed is really high. So let me go back down to ISO 400 and see how the exposure looks. Bring in the lighting. Okay, I like that. So always remember to check your exposure and look at the shutter speed and then adjust your ISO accordingly to get to the shutter speed that you want. And if the depth of field is a little bit too shallow, just uh, raise your aperture up to f14, f16, and that should give you enough so that most of the flowers are in, in uh, focus. Unlike right under a flight path for these helicopters.